Placer Gold Deposits Placer gold deposits are accumulations of gold that form through the natural processes of weathering, erosion, transportation, and sedimentation of gold-bearing rocks and minerals. These deposits are typically found in riverbeds, stream channels, beaches, or even ancient alluvial deposits that are now far from any current water source. The term, placer, comes from the Spanish word meaning, alluvial sand, reflecting their origin in stream and river sediments. Formation of Placer Deposits The formation of placer deposits begins with the weathering of rocks containing gold, such as quartz veins within bedrock. As these rocks break down due to natural forces such as water, wind, freezing, and thawing, gold particles are released. Because of gold's high density and resistance to chemical alteration, it tends to accumulate rather than being dissolved or significantly chemically altered. Once liberated, the gold is transported by water, such as rivers and streams. Due to its density, approximately 19.3 g cm superscript 3, gold often settles in areas where water slows down, such as inside bends of rivers, behind large rocks, in natural riffles, or in crevices within bedrock. As a result, placer gold is typically found as flakes, grains, or nuggets in these specific, trap, locations. Types of Placer Deposits There are several types of placer deposits. Stream, alluvial, placers, these are the most common and are found in river and stream channels. Gold is carried and deposited by the movement of water, forming layers of sediment and gold-rich gravels. Bench placers, these deposits are located on the terraces or benches above current river channels. They formed in the past when the river or stream was at a higher level. Alluvial placers, these form through weathering and gravity-driven processes on slopes or hillsides. Unlike stream placers, water transport is minimal, and gold stays relatively close to its source. Beach placers, found along shorelines and coastal areas, these deposits form due to the action of wave energy, concentrating heavy minerals, including gold, into discrete layers. Glacial placers, in regions once covered by glaciers, the movement of ice can grind rocks, releasing gold, which then accumulates when the glacier retreats. Prospecting and Mining Placer Deposits Placer mining is typically less capital-intensive than hard rock mining and historically has been a source of significant gold production, from the California Gold Rush of 1849 to modern-day operations worldwide. Methods of recovering placer gold include Panning, this simple method uses a pan filled with sediment and water to separate gold by swirling. The dense gold particles sink to the bottom, while lighter materials are washed away. Sluicing, a sluice box is used to wash and separate gold from gravel and sand. As the water moves through the box, it creates ripples and traps gold particles in the riffles. Dredging, Large-scale operations may use dredges to excavate and process gold-bearing sediments underwater. Dry washing. In areas where water is scarce, dry washing methods like dry blowers use air instead of water to separate gold. Economic importance and environmental impact. Placer gold mining has played a significant role in the development of many regions around the world, creating economic booms and driving settlement patterns. However, it can also lead to significant environmental issues, including habitat destruction, sediment pollution, and changes to waterways. In recent years, efforts have increased to conduct placer mining in a more environmentally sustainable manner, such as through the rehabilitation of mined areas and the use of more efficient and less invasive recovery techniques. In summary, Placer gold deposits represent a key source of gold throughout history and continue to be an important aspect of modern gold mining. Their unique formation and accessibility have made them an attractive target for prospectors and large-scale mining operations alike. Formation of Placer Gold Deposits The formation of placer gold deposits is a complex geological process that spans millions of years, driven primarily by natural weathering, erosion, transportation, and sedimentation processes. Placer deposits are named from the Spanish word placer, meaning alluvial sand, 
reflecting their occurrence in sediment-rich environments such as riverbeds, stream channels, beaches, or ancient deposits. To better understand how these valuable concentrations of gold develop, it is important to break down the processes that lead to their creation. 1. Primary Sources and Weathering The process begins with gold-bearing rocks, such as quartz veins within metamorphic or igneous host rocks, that contain native gold. Over time, these rocks undergo physical and chemical weathering due to various factors such as temperature changes, wind, water, frost, and chemical reactions with air and moisture. This weathering breaks down the parent rocks and releases their mineral content, including gold particles. Gold, unlike many other metals, is chemically inert and does not oxidize or degrade significantly under surface conditions. This durability allows gold particles to remain relatively intact through weathering and erosion processes. However, this initial phase liberates gold grains, nuggets, or even tiny particles embedded within host rocks, making them susceptible to further movement by natural forces. 2. Erosion and Transportation once gold is freed from its primary rock source, it can be transported by erosional forces, most commonly water. Rainfall and surface runoff erode soil and rock, carrying gold particles along with other sediments downhill and into water bodies like rivers and streams. Water flow is the key medium for the transportation and eventual deposition of placer gold. The mechanical action of flowing water grinds, sorts, and carries sediment downstream, creating a natural sorting mechanism. Gold is a very dense metal, significantly heavier than most other particles transported by water. Because of this, gold has a higher tendency to sink quickly when water flow slows, resulting in a natural accumulation process. As gold particles travel downstream, their size, weight, and shape influence their movement. Heavier and larger pieces tend to drop out of the water flow faster than lighter particles, accumulating in certain areas. 3. Concentration and Deposition The accumulation of placer gold occurs where water flow decreases or changes direction, creating zones of reduced energy. These zones, often referred to as traps, are where the gold particles settle out of the moving sediment. Common features that act as gold traps include Inside bends of rivers, as water flows around bends, the inner curve has slower moving water compared to the outer curve, where erosion is more intense. Gold tends to accumulate on these inner curves where water loses its carrying capacity. Riffles and obstacles, rocks, boulders, and riffles in riverbeds slow down water and create eddies, which can cause gold to settle and concentrate behind these barriers. Crevices in bedrock as water flows over bedrock, cracks and crevices act as natural traps, capturing and holding gold particles. In some cases, the river may change its course over time, leaving behind ancient channels or terraces, known as bench placers, high above the current water level. These deposits indicate areas where gold accumulated in the past and can still be mined today. 4. Types of Placer Deposits Placer gold deposits can be categorized based on the environments in which they form and the processes responsible for their concentration. Alluvial placers, found in modern river and stream channels, these deposits form as a result of water carrying and concentrating gold particles in sediment layers. Alluvial placers, these deposits form on or near the slopes of hillsides and are created by weathering and gravitational processes. Gold remains close to its source with minimal water transport. Beach placers, wave action and tidal forces concentrate gold along shorelines, forming placer deposits in beach sands. Glacial placers, these deposits form in areas where glaciers have carried and deposited gold-bearing rock and sediment during glacial movements. As the glacier retreats, it leaves behind concentrations of gold in outwash plains and moraines. 5 secondary processes and enrichment. Over time, placer deposits may undergo further concentration and enrichment due to natural sorting processes. Repeated cycles of erosion, transport, and deposition can lead to high-grade accumulations of gold. In some cases, finer particles of gold can be carried even farther downstream, 
eventually reaching deltas, estuaries, or the ocean, where they may form new types of deposits. Additionally, chemical processes such as leaching or dissolution of other minerals may lead to secondary enrichment. For example, oxidizing conditions can remove less stable materials from a placer deposit, leaving behind concentrated gold. Economic and Environmental Considerations The formation of placer gold deposits has played a significant role in human history, often sparking gold rushes and economic development in many regions. However, placer mining can have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water pollution, and changes to river courses. Modern mining practices often seek to minimize these impacts through the use of more sustainable recovery methods, site rehabilitation, and environmental monitoring. In summary, placer gold deposits are formed through a series of geological processes that liberate, transport, and concentrate gold. These deposits represent a critical source of gold for mining and are shaped by the intricate interplay of natural forces over time. Characteristics of Placer Gold Deposits Placer gold deposits are known for their unique characteristics that distinguish them from other types of gold deposits, such as those found in hard rock. Understanding these characteristics is crucial for prospecting, mining, and evaluating the economic viability of placer deposits. The main distinguishing features of placer gold deposits are influenced by their formation process, geological setting, gold particle size, and depositional environment. Here is a more detailed look at their characteristics. 1. Mode of Occurrence Placer gold deposits form as a result of the mechanical concentration of gold particles through the natural processes of weathering, erosion, and sedimentation. This means they are typically found in sedimentary environments such as riverbeds, stream channels, beaches, or ancient gravel beds. Unlike primary gold deposits, which are hosted in solid rock, placer deposits consist of loose and unconsolidated sediments where the gold is mixed with sand, gravel, clay, and other minerals. 2. Physical Characteristics of Gold Particles The gold found in placer deposits typically displays unique physical attributes shaped by transportation and natural sorting processes. Shape and Texture Placer gold particles are often rounded, flattened, or worn smooth due to their prolonged transportation by water and abrasion against other materials. The extent of rounding can indicate the distance traveled from their primary source. In contrast, less worn or more angular gold particles may suggest proximity to the original host rock. Nuggets, flakes, and fine gold, placer gold can range from large nuggets weighing several kilograms to fine, flower gold particles, often invisible to the naked eye. The larger and denser gold particles tend to accumulate in areas where water velocity decreases, while finer particles may be carried farther downstream. Purity Placer gold generally has a higher purity, fineness, than gold found in hard rock deposits. This is because it has undergone natural concentration and refinement through physical processes that leave behind impurities. 3. Density and Gravity Sorting Gold is one of the densest naturally occurring elements, with a density of approximately 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. This makes it much heavier than most other minerals found in placer deposits, such as sand and gravel. As a result, placer gold naturally tends to settle and accumulate in areas where water flow slows down. Common depositional environments for placer gold include Inside bends of rivers, Water flows more slowly on the inner curve of a river bend, causing gold to settle out of suspension. Behind large boulders or natural riffles, these obstacles create areas of decreased water velocity, trapping gold particles. Crevices and pockets in bedrock, gold often settles in cracks and crevices at the base of river channels, becoming locked into these natural traps. 4. Layering and Stratification Placer deposits often exhibit a distinct layering or stratification of materials. Gold particles are generally concentrated in specific layers within the deposit, usually at the bottom, due to their high density. This leads to the following features. Paystreaks, 
The zones within a place or deposit that contain the highest concentrations of gold are known as pay streaks. These areas are highly sought after by prospectors and miners. Pay streaks tend to follow the path of the river or stream and can be discontinuous. False bedrock, in some cases, a layer of dense clay or hard packed sediment may act as a barrier, trapping gold above it. This layer is referred to as false bedrock and can mimic the behavior of actual bedrock. 5. Types of placer deposits. Placer gold deposits are classified into several types based on their geological and environmental settings. Alluvial placers, these are formed in riverbeds and stream channels, where the movement of water over time concentrates gold particles. Alluvial placers are among the most common and economically significant placer deposits. Alluvial placers, these deposits form due to the weathering of gold-bearing rock in place, with gold particles accumulating through gravitational sorting on hillsides and slopes. Unlike alluvial placers, alluvial placers experience minimal water transport. Bench placers, located on elevated terraces or benches above current river levels, these deposits represent ancient stream channels that have been uplifted or eroded over time. Beach placers, wave action and tides concentrate gold along the shores of oceans and lakes, forming placer deposits in beach sands. Glacial placers, these deposits form as glaciers grind up gold-bearing rocks and release the gold during glacial retreat. The gold is then concentrated in moraines or outwash plains. 6. Mineral Associations Placer gold is often found alongside other heavy minerals known as black sands, which may include magnetite, ilmenite, garnet, zircon, and even platinum group metals. These heavy minerals are concentrated in the same areas as gold due to their similar densities and physical properties. The presence of black sands is often used as a visual indicator of potential placer gold deposits. 7. Accessibility and Extraction One of the distinguishing characteristics of placer gold deposits is their accessibility. Unlike hard rock gold mining, placer mining generally does not require complex underground workings. Instead, placer gold is extracted using surface methods, such as panning, the simplest method, involving the use of a shallow pan to separate gold from sediment through swirling and washing. Sluicing, using a sluice box to wash gold-bearing gravels, trapping gold particles in the riffles. Dredging, mechanical dredges excavate and process gold-bearing sediment from riverbeds or underwater environments. Dry washing, in areas without water, dry washers use air to separate gold from other sediments. 8. Economic Importance and Gold Rushes Historically, placer gold deposits have been the driving force behind many gold rushes and booms, including the California Gold Rush of 1849, the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896, and others. These deposits can often be mined quickly and with relatively low capital investment compared to hard rock deposits. Today, placer gold mining continues to be a significant source of gold production in many parts of the world, especially in regions with suitable geological conditions. 9. Environmental Impact and Sustainability Placer gold mining can have both positive and negative environmental effects. While it has historically contributed to economic growth and local development, placer mining can lead to habitat destruction, water pollution, and changes in river courses. Modern placer mining often seeks to minimize environmental impact by using more sustainable practices, such as reclaiming and rehabilitating mined land, reducing the use of harmful chemicals, and applying advanced technologies to improve recovery efficiency. Conclusion the characteristics of placer gold deposits make them a unique and important source of gold. Their high density, loose sedimentary setting, and natural concentration by physical processes have made them attractive to prospectors throughout history. Today, understanding these features remains essential for efficient and environmentally responsible placer mining operations.